So in this video, we are going to take a look at this Bokeh library for Python. This is visualization library that helps you get charts, then plots and graphs and different visualization for Python programs. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to install this. So type in pip or pip install okay make sure that you have release you have few other dependencies that required for bokeh so those dependencies are listed on official page so if you go through that you will find it for example on this installation page you will find the dependencies which are numpy pandas flask and reduce so anything other than that is is additional but if you have numpy pandas and reduce install then you will be able to use this library so just type in pip install okay and it should start the installation process okay after that we will open text editor and here we will code our first example for line plot for that let's first import figure output file and show so from bokeh dot plotting import figure then output file and show okay now the first thing we have to do is we have to set output file path so i'm going to use demo.html as my output file after that for line plot we need one variable let's say p that will hold data for our figure and that data is basically plot underscore width so we have to set the width let's say 400 then plot height that equals to let's say again 400 then title so for title i can say line example once you have that call for line so this dot line method will have multiple arrays so let's say one two three four and five and in another we will have let's say six seven eight nine and ten okay so five on one and five on another and then line underscore with with value two now you have that simply call for show method and give it our object p okay so this is what we are going to get on our screen but for that let's execute the program type in python demo.py okay so on your browser it should show you the example for our line as you can see it is a linear because the data that we have provided gives it the linear value on our plot okay so after that we will try to put some circle instead of these dots so we'll keep the data as is and we'll simply change a few values uh, here and there and try to put circle plot okay so open your example file and here uh, let's start with our variable p call for figure and give it plot underscore width equals to 400 and plot underscore height equals to another 400 now p dot circle and give it value one two three four five then 
six, seven, eight, nine, and let's say two, just for the sake of change. And after that, we will also add size. So size of our circle should be 15, then line underscore color should have, um, let's say, orange or you can have red so it will be border color for those then fill color should be let's say light color or orange i'm going with orange and then fill alpha equals to let's say 0.5 so it is partly transparent and then call for p so what we did we given the limitation for width and height then for circle we pass the specific array and mention size line color fill color and alpha and we are printing it out so let now execute that on our command prompt So as you can see, the plot is putting all these on screen. You can zoom in as Bokeh offers that. So simply zoom as much as you want or you can simply resize it as well. Okay, this is how you resize. Okay. So so far we have done line plot also circle plot and if you want to work with clips then let's do one example with clips so open your text editor remove this existing values and let's create one array with values one two three four five and another array with similar values five six seven eight nine okay so five values here five there and p equals two figure and inside that plot underscore width equals to 400 plus underscore height equals to 400 and what else we can add we will have our line here and give it values and line underscore width equals to two after that let's add circle with this data give it an x and y then fill underscore color equals to let's say orange and then size should be six okay now we will simply add our show method to show our graph note that this is plot with glyphs so multiple glyphs here we used line and circle so let's execute this okay so it shows some error Okay, so everything looks correct now. Indentation error caused that problem. So now it is solved and here you see the graph. Let's resize it to see our points. It is linear because we used that in our array. You can get different values if you want set this to 9 set this to 8 okay and this should change our graph as well okay so let's execute again and make it less linear this time okay so as you can see it is with different values and it shows you 
both lines and circles so circle at the point where the value we have specified line just that connects that plot so now you know how to draw line plot circle plot plot with multiple groups there are also uh, bar, bar plots or you can say histograms that you can do with bokeh visualization library so i hope that you have found this video useful